Hey, good morning. Back on my domain, the Shunga Trail. Okay, so let's uh, let's just get this out of the way because I want to make sure everybody's equally offended. Republicans and Democrats are both full of shit, so. Politics is terrible. You know, it's when we take the country back, the common man, the common people. It's just like, it's like the drinking age. If all the young kids would get together and say, you know something, we need to have, if we can serve our country and die at 18, we can have a belt. That's what they used to call a shot in the old days. Take a belt. I don't really know where that came from. Take a belt. That's what she said. <laughs> well, anyway, that's kind of funny. But, you know, and what's more immoral than politics? So you got the Clinton Foundation with all this money given, <laughs> given to by rich Republicans it's to have access. I don't know. In Kansas, I'm not, I'm not sure what direction we're going either. Look at the Shunga. But it, you can't, we got to be able to talk about politics and not piss everybody off to the much to where, okay, that guy's ostracized because, you know, he likes that Republican or supported that Democrat. You know, as a real estate developer, there isn't anybody as more neutral than us. We need access on both sides of the aisle. Which, which there, there's a vote for Don Trump. Hey, look, I've, uh, I've greased the wheels on both sides of the fence. I know how to get deals done. There's our guy. And I've not been a big Trump fan. I hate his hair. Okay, look. It's getting thinner, but who gives a shit about hair? Come on, Donald, buddy. If that guy'd get a crew cut, he would definitely, he would definitely, get an Obama cut, man. Maybe that's what it's gonna take. He's gonna need some nappy hair. Okay, I don't know, that was off the chart funny, but I guess I'm in the mood to offend everybody today. I don't mean to. But here here's the here's the real issue. What it comes down to is the morals. Hillary Clinton stood by her husband while he did whatever he wanted to in his personal life. Okay? Yeah, that's his personal life. But she sold her soul. She sold her soul for power and to be next to power. So you got, you got one end of the equation of power and you got another end of the equation of money. So the powerless hate the guy with the money because the people in power tell them to hate them. And the people in power say, woo, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna dole out more free stuff. I'm gonna get you a smartphone so you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. It's all about term limits. It's it's like the 
it's like these videos <laughs> they, they're there's they facebook will only allow you to upload so much boom you're cut off lucky you viewers hey tom mcmahon have you watched this video this morning yes i put mark klein at the top of the advisory committee a <laughs> Dana's advisory emeritus. <laughs> Dana, Dana kills me. Hey, look, I don't want to interact with any more people. You know, I just want... I want some peace and quiet. <laughs> then he's got me in his life. Boy, I've been real lucky in the real estate business. Real lucky. Yeah, there's a guy over there. That guy in that truck. I think he ratted Charlie Wilson out the other day. To the authorities. I did stairs already at the Y. I got basically just a few things to throw in the truck over at Switzerland on the Shanga. I need bids on doing the hardwood floors and or carpeting. put on a couple of pounds moving morning not exercising regularly way I figured eight pounds plus I got to get back on my pink drink just get me the damn credit card working. Anyway. I had some gloves. I lost my gloves. In the move. Henry McClure. Oh, by the way. Go buy Switzerland on the Shanga. Buy it. Fifty-three oh seven Southwest Twenty-Eighth Street, vacant and available. I got it listed at ninety thousand, but let's make a deal. Enjoy your day, Henry McClure.